Okay, I'm zoomed in again. Ah. You're looking at the most stupid girl in the world. I was rushing out the door, because I was like, oh, it takes an hour to get there, and it still takes me like 25 minutes to walk to the station, because I have not yet gotten my bike. And I forgot my Suka card. I can't really afford to spend more money on another Suka card and put more money on, that's gonna slow me down, so I figured the better option is to just go back and just take the Zoom class. I'm gonna be honest, I had a really rough night last night. Stuff happened that I don't really want to get into because I still believe that even though it's good to be pretty open, some things should remain private. Just stuff happened that made me really sad and it was hard for me to focus and it still affected me this morning despite being up at 5 a.m. which on a normal day I would have tried to like be productive, get my stuff together so I'd be on time and all that. Today was just hard. At least I was able to get my phone activated so now at least I have a Japanese working phone. But I think what I need to do is just relax, slowly get ready for my class on Zoom, and try again. Found it. <laughs> Found it. So, obviously exhausted. Um, that heat really kills me. Like, kills all my energy. <sighs> I am not feeling good. I am just sad. I am sad right now, and I hate it. I don't like feeling sad. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna get this set up, and uh, hopefully they're okay. But like the first class I was there, that was supposed to be in person, there was three people on Zoom, so I'm assuming it'll be fine. If not, then I'm gonna have to apologize profusely. But right now, I just wanna cool the F off. <laughs> Dying. Uh, I need to like get out of this shitty headspace, otherwise I'm gonna do crappy in class all over again. <laughs> okay, we're on break right now. I. Thank God I'm still muted. Um, I am struggling so hard. Uh, today's class is a lot harder. The words are a lot harder. I don't know like any of them. All right, I'm going to spare you guys that terrible audio because I completely forgot to mute the class on the break while I was telling you guys this. But basically, my brain was failing me super hard, mix of terrible sleep and my chaos of my room, just everything was going terribly. So I was able to grab some coffee from downstairs vending machine. These things are amazing, although they're very, very high calorie compared to the what my, I'm used to with my black coffee, but they helped a lot. Coffee please wake me up. And then I went on to consistently ramble about how much I need shelvings and, and baskets and stuff to make my room feel more organized and actually like work to my benefit. Oh, oh I just realized that they're not on mute and that this is probably... Okay, that's better. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's continue watching me crumble, shall we? Class is over. It was terrible. I suck. And I am really nervous now because I freaking have a vocabulary, blah, 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 blah. vocabulary, there we go. Lesson, not tomorrow, or I think I'm pretty sure they said the day after, I'll have to double check the thing, but like, ah, I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna suck so bad. There was one part at the very end where I literally had to, like she'd say a word and I had to write it out in the kanji and I'm like, I don't fucking know how to do that, I don't remember. Like if I see the symbol, I know how to write it, but I can't think of it off the top of my bloody head. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna fail that freaking test. They said that you have to have 80% or higher to pass. That I am so shitty at school. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Um, it's actually like quite late and I decided my first priority should be buying my bike. Now that I have my wallet, I've got my shoes on, I'm walking back and forth. My room is an absolute disaster. I put it in my purse. <sighs> I am so uh, out of it. It is Ridiculous. This room is driving me nuts. I just want to have a system. It is a small ass room, but I have too much dinky little shit. I need my baskets, I need a system, and not having a system is making me insane. So I'm hoping this is just PMSing and that I'm not literally going insane. Whew. I'm swimming through the air. Uh, uh, I can't remember.
remember what it means. Sheep. Ah, uh, not sheep and then, that's a train. Um, Jidensha, there we go. All right, so the guy is busy with another dude, but it's like an older gentleman, so this might be hard, so I'm gonna just use the translating app to say exactly what I need to say so that there's no extra confusion because I find that the older gentlemen tend to be a little bit less patient with foreigners, so if I can just not have to have a shahassle, I'm going to take it. So I'm glad I got this fixed before I came to buy a bike. Oh, and also, um, I looked up the price from yen to Canadian dollar. It's only 250 bucks. Okay, to give some quick context, bikes in Canada of this style and quality are typically between 500 to 1,000 dollars. So 200 and something dollars for me here is pretty damn cheap. Beautiful, and it's blue. All right, he seems to be almost done with that customer. So I'm just gonna finish buying some cleaning supplies. If I can figure out how to use them. <laughs> And then go get my bike. Ah, uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, put you over here. Hi. Thank <laughs> you. All righty. To spare you my jumbled Japanese, I'll explain exactly how this went down. Turns out buying a bike is more complicated than I realized, because bikes in Japan are treated more like vehicles, a necessity, not just a leisurely activity. Hi. Oh. It's like a giant moth. Ooh. This bike is so cute. You have to fill out a registration booklet. A whole booklet. So thank God for Google Translate. So, when you go in, make sure you have a section in your notes app for an English and Japanese version of your new phone number and address with your government ID or visa. Can't be your passport. Uh, also, have a credit card ready. This will make this purchase so much smoother and much easier on the staff. This man was so patient and kind with me, I felt like I truly lucked out. When you're done filling out your end, he'll do some quick checks on the paperwork and the bike, making sure there isn't any defects. This shop also had a discount if you signed up for their service, so he took me over to the main till to show me how to sign up. Mm. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. I forget how much of a discount I ended up getting though. Mm. He'll also ask you if the seat's height is correct for you, but I didn't want to be a bother, so I said it was fine. But as soon as I started pelling, I was like, this isn't fine. And make sure you keep all the paperwork he gives you. You'll need it if you ever decide to sell the bike or gift it. It's this whole process where you have to write up a whole letter saying that you give up this bike to whoever using their full name and all that. They're very particular with their paperwork, so I cannot stress enough to keep everything they give you. After all that, he'll put a registration sticker on your bike okay. so the police won't tow your bike when you park it anywhere. Mm. Present. Oh, hi. Six months. Hi. Hi. Basically a proof of purchase sticker. And then you're set! I've got a bike! I don't know how to fix it! <sighs> this thing has an automatic light! Although I will admit I don't really like the uh, type of kickstand they have, but it does a great job of making sure the bike won't fall over. All right, and with that, folks, I have officially bought a bike in Japan. It was definitely an ordeal. Make sure you have those translating apps if you're in my shoes. I'm gonna just call it a day because I clearly am very sweaty and I can feel my sweat dripping down my shirt now, so that's not great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, think for yourself, use your head, and learn something new. <laughs> It feels like every day I'm learning something new.